hey welcome back to Durlor Nails in today's video I wanted to share with you um, a lot of the items that I bought to restock on my nail supplies at work um, the weather has been crazy here let me give you a look outside right quick we've had snow for the last uh, two three days and it's about seven inches today probably has been the lightest so some of my packages has been on delay anyways this isn't my usual setup for videos but um, just bear with me as I go through all of the boxes uh, I'm gonna start off with the bigger boxes at the bottom and then I'll work my way up to this one and then all of my smaller packages right here all right let's get started all right so in this box I have my favorite files um, I have the zebra ones and again these are from Marlo these are their 100 grit that I use for like my acrylic and my hard gels and then I also have the smaller grit one let me see if I can find it and nope these are also 100 let's see let's see if it's this pack over here yes okay and then I also have the 180 grit files that I use for um, natural nail services and then I also have in here some masks for work you know you can never have too much of them and plus it's a better deal to buy these from Marlo than it is um, to buy them from anywhere else um, I used to be able to find the N95 masks from Marlo but they don't have them anymore so I'm off to just using these surgical masks so hopefully they won't irritate my ears too much alrighty so let me transition to the next box over here and this one should just be all of the um, these should just be well it's a box instead of a box give me a minute alright so I am back but in this box it should just be acetone. Um, I am having a hard time trying to find the gallon size acetones. So Marlo has them in the 32 ounces. So if you buy four of these, obviously it's a gallon. And I think I ordered, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I ordered like three gallons. And then I am also trying out their... Um, lint free wipes let me see if I can get it to focus here I went to go try I'm trying out their lint free wipes um, the one that I normally use from um, Amazon I love but these were too good of a price to pass up on so we'll see if these are a good um, comparison to what I usually use so let's see I'm trying to think what else did I buy in here oh I love all things lavender and that's typically the scent that I use at the salon for like my pedicures and my manicures like the lo as far as like lotion and smell is concerned so I saw that um, there was a lavender cuticle oil from Marlo so I'm giving this a try uh, but other than that that's what I bought from Marlo like I said just files uh, 100 grit files 180 grit masks um, lint free wipes, cuticle oil, and four gallons of the acetone. All right, let me move on to my next box. My next placement is from D&D, &D and normally what I get from them are gloves. So here I am, I'm just restocking on my gloves. And um, as a free gift, they gave me some Christmas stickers, but um, in here should be a bottle of matte top coat because um, their deal was, give me a second. It's a bottle of matte top coat. Their deal was that if I, I think you ordered over $65 or $75, you get a free matte top coat. So um, I read online that people like it, so I'm gonna give it a try. Hopefully it's stain resistant. I need a matte top coat that's stain resistant. I haven't found one that I've liked yet. So I'm gonna give this a go. But like I said, from D&D, I just restocked on my nitro gloves. 
and they gave me a pack of nail stickers for free and then also a free matte top coat. Um, I had gotten another order of the drill bit. I used this one to clean around the cuticles. It's in the size medium, but I love this thing. This one is from Panna. And I actually ordered quite a few drill bits from Panna. Restocking on some sanding band. So I typically get the 150 grit and normally the zebra kind, but they ran out of the zebra. So I'm trying the brown sanding band, which honestly, I guess the color, the color of the sanding band doesn't matter. Um, it just matters what grit you use. So I use 150 and those, those are the medium sizes. Those are the medium grits, I'm sorry. Also from Amazon are the Panna ceramic bits. I love using the ceramic bits for removing gel polish. Um, I find that they're uh, not as aggressive as maybe the carbide bit, especially if I'm using on the natural nails. And this one is the medium grit. This is the small medium grit. And I think I ordered um, a medium grit and I wanna say, let's see what else do I have in here. This is the first time that I saw that Panna had a, I think these are called easy release uh, mandrel bit. Normally, I use the easy release mandrel bit from Kiara Sky. That's actually one of the packages that is on um, delayed right now. It's supposed to be delivered yesterday, Monday, but today's now Tuesday and it's still not here. So, but anyways, um, I had ordered this uh, Panna easy released sanding band after I had already ordered that my Kiara Sky one. So when that arrives, I'll compare how well I like these. If maybe this Panna one would be a good substitute. Um, but I love it because um, as you can see here, it's got these little, uh, I don't know how you explain it, but um, it's supposed to allow the sanding band to quickly release. And I'll show you, I'll show you that later in the video too, how to um, put it on and how easily it releases versus like the old traditional mandrel bits. Okay guys, I'm back at my desk, which will make it more stable to show you guys what I bought from Luxa. I've never used them before, so I'm kind of excited. But from Luxa, I had bought their white and their black gel paint. Um, I have the Young Nails gel paint. Um, I love it, uh, but I was down on my white and my black, so I thought I'd give Luxa a try. And then I've also bought from Luxa, um, let's see, I bought this one here that is their primer. This one is their shine, which is their top coat. And this one here is their velveteen matte top coat. I've never, again, I've never used Luxa before, so I'm gonna give them a try and see how I like them. And I also want to see if their matte top coat is stain resistant. There's also been rave reviews on Luxa anything. So I'm excited to give these a try. And then also from Luxa, I had wanted their brush set, but their brush set was sold out. So I actually bought the brushes individually. So, oops, that one just went flying out. So let's see, I bought four of their brushes here and I'll show you right quick what they look like. Um, I do have detail brushes that I use, but they're like just the cheap ones that you could get off of Amazon, which they have done me well, uh, but I was ready to upgrade for like some newer, nicer things. And, um, one of my, uh, coworkers, she uses Luxa and she raves about it. So I'm going to give it a try. So let me show you right quick. The only one that I'm missing from their usual collection is their ombre brush. I don't have that one, but as far as like their um, gel brush collection, I think I got most of them. Again, the detail brush. This is like a short stripey one. This is like a long stripey brush and then the gel brush. All right. So that's Luxa. And let me show you my next um, product that is new to me. Okay, my last package to share with you guys is from Light Elegance. Um, <clears throat> I have ordered from them, I think this was part of their year-end sale, um, 
some gel paints. I'm sorry, yes, these are gel paints. Okay, so from Light Elegance, I had ordered their pastel gel paints and their neon gel paints. My Young Nails gel paint collection does not include pastel colors or neon colors. Um, so I'm excited to give these a try as spring and summer is coming up. So it's nice to have some very uh, pigmented colors to do line work, to do detailed art for my clients. So I'm excited to give this a try. Okay guys, I got the last part of my order which was from Kira Sky. And like I said, these are the, I had ordered two of the Easy Release Mandrel Bits. As you can see here, I've got two of the Easy Release Mandrel Bit and I've got two of the, this one is the Large Barrel Medium diamond bit and I love this one. This one is the one that I would also use if I didn't have my ceramic bit to remove gel polish. So like I said earlier in my video, I'm going to compare this easy release, this um, Kara Sky easy release mandrel bit to the Panna easy release mandrel bit. All right, I'm back with a zero sanding band, which is what I normally use. And as you can see, it slides in very easily, comes off really easily. And again, this was the Kiara Sky one. And I'm going to try the Panna one next, just in case I should find myself accidentally losing it down the drain again. Oh, look at that. So both of them, Slid on very easily and released very easily. So again, the Kiara Sky on the left, the Panna on the right. Um, I like both of the products. I'll have to play with it some more at work um, and let you know how I how I like this possible dupe for the Kiara Sky Mandrel bit. But um, overall, these are the orders that I bought to either restock or new products that I'm trying and I hope you liked this video and if you did give me a thumbs up. Alright guys I hope you have a happy new year. I hope it's going off to a great start and I'll see you soon. Bye!